don't mind me. I was just enjoying the rubbish bins. All right, everyone, we're up here. We're on Coffee Mountain today, and uh, there's a snowboarder out there named Ryan Napton. He's a real calvy boy. Today, I was thinking, like, yo, I want to learn how to carve like that guy. We're going to try to do that. This is the one I want to learn, right? Woo! Like this. He carves like this. This is what I'm going to learn. So we're going to go out there. We're going to try to uh, do that, but if only there was, like, someone here that could teach me to carve like Ryan Napton. Oh, what? Ryan, yeah, where did you come from? Hey! <laughs> Before I try these turns, yep. I think we need to get a demo of what they look like. Alright, so the full version. Yeah. Full high speed version. So that's pretty much what they look like. That's what I want to learn. So, right. Yep. Could you please teach me the ways? Absolutely. Uh, there's really nothing too hard about it. You need to be able to ride your toe side edge very nicely. Have a nice toe side car. The technique is in the middle of a toe side car, you bring it all down, down, down. It's not crashing over. Yeah. Just get low, 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 low. And then once you're here, put the arm down, extend out like this. Yep. And uh, you want as little weight on your arm as possible. Yeah. And then you just slide it back in. Okay. And so, just bring it out, bring it back. Yeah. I use these weird vinyl things on my sleeves that actually glides really good. Certain jackets don't glide at all, so uh, David yeah. might uh, struggle with that aspect a little bit. Grab the, uh, grab my jacket sleeve right here oh, yeah. so that snow doesn't fill up the sleeve. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Nothing hard about that. The board starts wrapping around you. It'll just kind of absorb back in for you. It's not really a strength thing or anything. Just good technique. All right. Let's give this a go. So that's the full technique. I think you're just booting out. You're hitting your. The snow is pretty soft. So I think you're, uh, the toes dig into the snow too much. What I usually recommend is actually putting the binding all the way to the heel side. Or just on firmer snow. I think this would work better for you. Yeah. Okay, do this again. Let's do it. <laughs> And then I think uh, I think the next thing would just pull it in a bit before you lose all your speed. Like yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. once you start coming up the hill, uh, yeah, just uh, make a short, quicker one. There. I think uh, firmer groomers one of the things that will help and then uh, we're gonna have to do this another day as well I think so right I want to get some clips of the calving master himself right now I don't know how he does it. That's just so crazy.
Back home now, just did some sick tech deck tricks, as you can see, and I'm sure you're like, wow, those are some sick tech deck tricks. It is like two days into the future. This video is kind of random, it's just like bits and stuff from like random as days. But we went for a skate with Rakai at the skate park yesterday, which was pretty sick. So uh, here's some of the clips we got. I didn't really get many clips because Rakai was shredding. Here we go. Oh, I need to try airing all those stairs. Pretty cool, right? But now I'm just chilling. Thank you so much to Ryan Napton for teaching me those calves because they're so much fun. I've gone and taught other people how to do them now. And if you guys are ever at the mountain, you got some sweet groomers. I recommend uh, trying to do these calves because they're sick and they're so much fun. <laughs> the kazoo by the way. In other news, I'm currently filming another video as we're speaking. I'm filming today's video and uh, look outside. It is snowing. But I was thinking we should answer some questions so uh, let's do that. Let's pull up some questions right now. You know what? No, I'm not, I'm not even going to answer questions. I'm going to read the comments from my 10 things beginners should avoid video because apparently I forgot about a lot of things and you guys have reminded me. So uh, let's go see what you guys have said. Demario Henderson, I love riding without gloves. Every time my hands go in the snow, I start burning. Feels excitement. Ah, you're one of those guys. Gotta feel a little bit of pain to know you're alive. <sighs> PPJRA, beginners should avoid trying tricks before they can even ride properly. Matt DiGiovanna, going really slow over jumps and just rolling over them. That is true. Sam Finnamore, pushing your board with the wrong foot. That's true, you don't want to be that Mongo man. Sebastian Clement, dude, you forgot to mention riding without a helmet. That is 100% true. How did I forget about that? I guess it was just such like a kind of like basic thing that I kind of forgot about that one. But yeah, you should always ride with a helmet. But David, there's so many videos without you riding without a helmet. That is 100% correct. I have nothing else to say to that. Silver Toast, why shouldn't you use rail takeoffs as jumps? I can't ride rails and I'm a little scared of bigger jumps, so I always use them for jumping. I mean, it's all good if there's like not many people riding, but like there's a lot of uh, people answering that question. I'm just gonna go answer it with someone else's question. Jacob Seberg says, the rail takeoff thing really annoys me because while I'm still new to park, I'm trying to learn to ride rails, but people keep using the takeoffs. I can't get on the rails because these people keep going too slow because they aren't going to hit the rails or the box. Sis. But yeah, if you guys want to like go find like jumps or stuff, I recommend just going to the small park and riding the smaller jumps instead of using rail takeoffs and stuff. But once again, if there's no one like hidden in the park, Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Poxy Bear, at least you admitted that you shouldn't have been teaching Thomas to snowboard. Excuse me? I don't know if you saw the later videos, but I transformed Thomas from a loser into a snowboarding master. And the final comment we'll be reading from this video is from Aiden Doss. He has some very strong words of wisdom. Don't catch your edges. <laughs> Meme review. Meme review. Oh, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> It'll take five days by car